So, you wanted to let your little inner ninja out, eh? Well, here we have just that. We're going to fly around. And we're going to grappling hook the hell out of everything. Why? Because we can. Oh, look, and we're faking gravity to boot. Well, isn't that cool? And we can we can cruise around. Oh, if I hit the right buttons, you know. There we have the grappling hook. We are ninja. So, how do we do it? Let's play. So, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. So now I have just a scene of stuff. Just cubes. Nothing special. No logic whatsoever. So the first, first thing we need is a capsule for our player. Stick them there. And he needs a camera. Boop. There's his camera. And in my case, I'm also going to add a point here. And this is going to be called his hand. And then that's our player. And very, very simple. And we're going to make a hook. And you can. Uh, give it a hook like thing I guess I don't know uh, sure why not let's see if we went like I don't know let's say point one, point one. we'll just get a whole bunch of these or something like that I don't know something something silly like this or something sure why not why the hell not right turn the light off so I can see a little better so I'm sure you can make something better than this it's this is just four cubes being stupid so there we have our grappling hook. It looks nothing like a hook. Let's give it a line renderer. Oh, that's ugly. All right, let's make it thin. Uh, value, we'll say 0.1. And we need a material. So where did I put some stuff? I went and got a material or a texture anyway. They just literally just downloaded something. Rope texture. I'm going to make it unlit because I don't feel like dealing with the light. Uh, it's a texture. And we have something that looks like a rope somewhere. Somewhere in here. Where, where? It's our pretty little rope. Here the rope. Come be the rope. Oh, not much rust. Oh, there we go. Just some rope. And if I come over to the hook and I now take our rope texture and drop it on there, you can see this looks like total crap. How do we fix it? Well, first of all, we don't want to stretch it. We want to tile it. Uh, doesn't need to receive shadows and that's good all right rope texture turn so we want something like I'll say 15 and 0.1 maybe point 0.15 that'll probably do I could probably even go down to 10 maybe Sure. There we go. Now we have a rope. Just like that. Like it was nothing. 
Okay. So, where's our player? Now we need a FSM. We'll call this one hook. And all it's going to be is get button down. We are going to send the hook out. Dun dun dun. Sending the hook. So what does that mean? That means we're going to raycast. I'm going to use raycast advanced. Why not? Actually, you know, it's almost better to use raycast two. Raycast two. All right. So we can give it a distance. I'll I'll keep it at a hundred. Give it a direction Z, but it's coming from the camera. And we have a hit something and no hit. And we have a hit point. Often you do the normal too if you want to play some effects. Not that worried about it right now. So we have a no hit and hit something. No hit, just go back. If we hit something, we're going to do something else. All right? Let's just make sure that's working as intended. Right, so we fire, and you know, of course, I used the wrong thing. So I use get button down. I meant get mouse button down. Now we can send hook. All right. I knew something looked a little off there, so we fire. We hit. Obviously, we hit the wall that's right in front of us. Right. There we go. So what do we what do we want to do? if we hit something well we want to get position for starters of our hand and position and then we want to set position of our hook to our hand world space pretty simple <coughs> and now we want to um, set properties where are those these two uh, the effects no nope. render Set line render positions. Position zero is the hand, every frame. On the hook, position one, however, is going to be, we need another get position. Only this one's going to be of our hook. That's our new hook position. So line render at that is now going to be hook position. Pretty simple. All right, nothing major. We're just setting everything up. Now we want our hook to go fly at wherever we hit and, you know, kind of stick to it. Well, how do we do that? Well, let's just say we are going to lerp. A vector 3 lerp. We're going to lerp our hand position to the hip point. And this thing here, I'm going to make a new one. We'll, we'll call it time. No, we'll call it the amount. And this is our set hook position. And then we want to set position. underneath all that of the hook to set hook position world every frame so this amount what that is is when you lerp actually I probably demonstrate this by showing you maybe you'll learn something I hope so your sweet hundred and so okay we click and let's 
Let's come out of all this so I can see. All right. And ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. so here we have a lerping, right? And it's it's got a lerp of zero, and the, you can see the hooks like right at us, right? And if and we're in, we're in play mode, and if I actually move that amount, it goes at, at like a normalized distance, right? So zero is at us, one is at the end, right? Pretty fancy. So that's kind of what we want to do. So that's what this amount is. So how do you do amount over time? Well, let's just float add. Nice and easy. Why not? Float add above the lerp, the amount. Let's add, I don't know, five per second every frame. And huh, that's probably fine like that. But make sure if we're doing that, that we reset set float work better if I can spell things right set float value amount to zero right because we want to start at our hand so then we move it that way so we're gonna set the hook to set hook position and meanwhile we want to get hook now that's every frame and this one can be every frame and we're setting the hook to the hand position not every frame and then we're going to set the line position the one at the hand and that's at the hook okay so now a very simple doop, there it goes all right we have our fancy little rope and our hook. Now our, our hook can probably use a, know, a twist or something. And our rope texture on this guy, him right there. Let's bring that down 0 0.05. Let's make him a little thinner. All right. Now we have boop. All right, not perfect, but it looks like it's going to do something. So that's hook. We can fire a hook now, and we can stick it to things, and then we see it travel. All right, so that's that. So now, what do we want to do after we've done this? We can. Um, say well, okay first let's let's make another state let's say okay we know we can go to this state but we can only go I shouldn't use a finish um, down here let's um, vector 3 operator once the set hook position to hip point distance um, hook distance every frame float compare so more or less we just want to wait until our hook is actually somewhere and it really doesn't need to be like it, it'll go pretty quick right it, half a second or so regardless of distance um, so if hook distance is say, I don't know, less than one, then we're going to go next, go do something else. That'll just help keep things a little clean. So once we're here, let's, for example, get another mouse button down, paste. And we can send the hook again if we want. Only this time we're not going to send the hook. We're going to pull towards it, right? And I haven't changed this to a character controller yet, so I got to do that. So let's get rid of the capsule and add a 
character controller. Give it zero on the min move distance. All right, now, now we've done all this. And if we send the hook, we want to move towards something. So we need a direction. Vector three operator. And of course this happens not in that. This happens after we've clicked. All right, so we want, what was it? We have our, say our hit point and our hand position. might cause us a little bit of issue. You know what, let's do... Oh wait, no, it's not gonna cause us any issue. We're not flying through the air yet. You dummy. All right, so we have subtract. This gives us a direction. Now, if we normalize, we want to maintain control and then multiply. Son of a. D damn it. There we go. Let's get rid of those. I don't need those. Okay, we need to normalize it. We're going to normalize direction. And we're going to multiply direction by, say, 20. Set character. Set controller velocity. Let's move him to the bottom. Let's go to direction, space world, every frame. All right, now, now all of a sudden we have this. We can go, boop, we hook something, we pull, and it yanks us towards it. Now, unfortunately, right now we're just flying forever at it, and it now it's never going to end, and that's not what we want to do, but you get the idea. So, we're sitting here, we can click, and we can pull. Now, there's, there's a pull stuff here we've got to do, and here still after for some velocities, but we'll deal with that after. So, we get next, we send the hook, we fly towards this thing, and maybe even 20 might be too fast, maybe we'll go 15. So, now we're flying towards this thing. So what do we want to do? We want to get positions again. I'm just going to copy that. Paste it. So we have hand position. And we want to... Yeah, well, I guess that's the only one we really need. And we need another vector 3 operator. And Let's do the hip point and hand position. We want distance every frame. Distance to hook. All right. So we'll compare. Move to the bottom. If distance to hook is say I don't know a little less than three. Um, Let's go back, like that. Oh, we got direction, normalize, get position, operator. Yep, oh, okay, nope, that's good. All good, 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 good. And we go and we hit play, we go, we pull. Oh yeah, right, I mean, guess, I guess the, the distance for where we're actually hitting isn't that far. So whatever. Let's add Another FSM, so we can test something. We'll call this look. <coughs> and let's mouse look to. And we're going to use the camera. And we want, say, a 3 and a negative 3. And these. We don't want any of those. 
which I think it will show you an error, but whatever. Don't worry about it. All right, so now we can look. Right now, of course, if I click, my mouse will way the hell over here. But now I can pull, right? Uh, velocity might be a little low. All right, so on this one, let's just add set cursor. Because that's pissing me off. Move to the top. Hide lock. Call it good. Move up. And let's adjust the speed back to 20 and now let's try it and we have something should look and we go up and we can kind of move around right now that we got to fix because that shouldn't be happening Right. We don't want to leave that rope there. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. So, as we go, we also want to be... So, we're getting position of the hand position right there. Let's set this one, the zero one, to that same thing. So, it kind of moves with us, you know? before hand position and now it'll travel with us okay so now we have that now while we have that let's build a move and all we're gonna do is get access vector and we have relative to our camera so now we have a relative vector and we have a simple move now this will have a little bit of a conflict and we will fix that. So we're going to move at maybe a speed of 4. And that should be space self. All right. Now we just have a very simple... You know, we can move around we can look. Okay, cool. And if I click and I move... We have, we have some sort of freaking issue here. Something bad happening. So, how do we fix that? Very simple. Over here, we are going to be... Um, we'll call it hook. Which I don't know if I should call it hook. Right, so when we hook, when we go up here, let's send event to the move that we're, we're hooking. So more or less, stop controlling things, you dumb controller of movement. We're taking over with our hook. All right? Actually, we probably don't even want to put it there. All right? We probably don't want to put it until we get down here. That would probably make a little more sense. Because that will give us back our movement. So we can, we should be able to now hook and still move, which we got to fix that. We want that coming with us. But if we click, it pulls us to wherever. And now this thing just kind of goes forever, and that's not going to quite cut it. So that is we are setting the line position here. And we go here. So we should probably, again, just to make sure that everything's happening, everything is good, and everybody's happy. Copy. Let's make sure that that line is happening here. All right. So we tell this thing to move, and we're getting a position. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is wait. For, I don't know, say two seconds, maybe two and a half. And we're also going to do a return. So we're going <coughs> to, we're not, we may not fly exactly. I mean, if we pick something really far, we may not get there. It might just let go. Right. And now we can, we can start to move around pretty decently as is. Right. Pretty good. 
But as you can tell, I mean, now I'm standing wherever I want to stand now, and gravity doesn't really matter anymore. So, so on the move, we have hook, right? So we're doing the hook. We also have a, uh, we'll call it maybe let go. Let it go. Let it go. No, I can't fucking sing. Um, let go. So we let go. What do we want to do? Get FSM Vector 3. Oh, sorry. And to the move. No, oh, not the move. Of the hook. We're going to get direction. That's going to be our new V. And now we want to interpolate this vector from V to negative 9 and say over 3 seconds. And we have a new that and set controller velocity. Move to the bottom. To set, yes, like a frame and grounded. What's we need to be? We need to know if we're grounded or not. Move that to the bottom as well. And if we're true, let's go back. If we go back, we're just going to go back here. Back to our initial simple moves. Now, what we'll have is we'll pull, and then you'll see all of a sudden we'll start. Oops. I guess it would help if I actually linked those together, wouldn't it? All right, because we have hook, and we have let go. So how do we let go? Well, when we let go, right here, we're just going to send an event. Let the hell go. Right? Pretty simple. Uh, to the move to let go. There we go. Let go. There. Now that'll be a little better. All right? Cause, whoop, that one's a bad one. All right? But now, as you see, like our velocity is also dropping. All right? We come over and it goes for a bit, and then it's like we're we're falling. Uh oh, we're falling. Yeah, we still gotta fix that. All right, so there's that. The other thing we want, well, I'll get to that after. First, let's fix that that hook thing. So when we're here. Get that. Get position of the hand. That's on the wait. So we're on the return. Go here. So I'm waiting for a mouse button. So let's. You know what? Screw it. Let's get. Let's just get this. Copy. No, okay, so if we let go, we let go. I think the other thing we should probably do, let's set, where are those things? Come to me, my pretty. Let's tell these things to go to zero. You know, like we've we've let go. Let's just leave them. Screw it. Let's go like that. It doesn't even need to be every frame. It just needs to be once. All right. So the okay, that's gonna fix one thing. Or it should fix one thing. If it doesn't fix one thing, I'm a freaking liar, I guess. All right. So we've gone here. We've gone gone past it now. Now see see now I can move again because so, we have that grounded check right. Now if I click. And I go, um, I hit, oh, okay, I'm still falling, 
See, it's following us. All right, maybe we want to click while we're in the air. All right, like as we are, we send hook and we are moving so we get this and we get our velocity. So we're doing this. Now, what if we want to do that again? All right, copy. And right in this one, let's just stick it somewhere in here. Send hook. Send hook. Let's just go again. While we're flying through the air. So we can just keep hooking if we wanted to. We're like hookers. Professional hookers right there. All right. But see 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 this little issue? Now that I can hook, if I click, I stop. God knows we don't want that. So, we need to fix that. So, how do we fix that? And like I said, like this is from. Okay, we hit something. We go up here. We set the amount to zero. We get our positions. We do all this fun stuff, and we're comparing, but we're not controlling any movement in here. And this is where we want to um, get velocity. Get our controller velocity. Um, let's store this as our current. This can go to the top. And we need to, once again, LERP. Or no, we'll, we'll interpolate. Interpolate. We're going to go from our current to negative 9 on the y you know maybe over I guess we'll go three seconds again whatever and this will be set current and then we are going to set velocity again in here lots of setting of the velocities Set current world every frame. All right, so now we have we can hook, can go, we can hook, can go. Oh, we're flying through things apparently. So we go. Okay, right there. Why are we stopped? Let's look. We are here. We are right there. That's what we need to do. And I'm going to literally just copy the same logic. Copy. And paste before. Because now it's trying to keep what's happening. And it's trying to fake that gravity, even though it's not, you know, a true fake. I mean, it's over three seconds. I mean, how real can it possibly be? It's not like gravity pulls you down to you know, like terminal velocity in nine, three seconds. And who knows? Maybe it does. I could be completely freaking wrong about that. So anyways, now we have a little hooky system that can go. And we fall. There we have. That's a pretty decent, quick grappling hook system you can bring into a first person game. Obviously, make a better hook than my hook because my hook's almost embarrassing. I wouldn't even give it to my dog. But hey, you can have it. Sure, why not? Yeah, like I said, and, and it fakes gravity, right? I mean, I hit something, I go up. Oh, I'm standing on the stupid hook. Alright, if I go... You know, it's just the way it works. You know, as I pull up, if it's too far, it, it just breaks off, right? And I start falling. So, it, it is kind of neat in that aspect. 
I didn't pull it. I didn't go there. Oh my god, oh my god. So there we have grappling hooks. Oh, what did I do? Oh man, that's a brutal one. I went flying around there. Woof. Zip right over that. Well, we're freaking Spider Man here, I tell you. So there you have it, though. Grappling hooks. Sounds good. Talk to you guys later.